Hello, my name is Steve Miller. I'm the Sitefinity e-commerce evangelist, and I'd like to show you something really cool that you can add into Sitefinity e-commerce to give you a little bit better product detail view of images, especially if you're working with large formatted images. Here I've created a product called the Canon Digital Rebel, but it uses large formatted images. Out of the box, Sitefinity uses a third-party product called Fancybox to create this light box. Unfortunately, Fancybox doesn't allow me to zoom in on this image. A good example is one that I've created over here, which allows me to kind of mouse over and see the details of this image. I can click on it and open up into a new window, or I can mouse over it and really see all the fine details of this large formatted image. To do this, I'm using a third-party product called Magic Zoom Plus. It's made by Magic Toolbox, and they make a couple of other different options here for images. A new one that they came out is the Magic 360 which you can look at a 360 view of a product. Even though I like this, my favorite is really the Magic Zoom Plus. It sells for $45 in British pounds, which is roughly $70 in the US, and it's based on per domain. To get started, just download a free trial. Once you download the free trial, unzip it, and you will see a whole bunch of files in here. You can click on the index.html, and you can actually see some of the other parameters that you can use for creating a magic zoom. After you've kind of played around with that, you need to copy this folder, Magic Zoom Plus, into your solution, which contains the CSS and the JavaScript and uh, some graphics, which I've done here. I've then created a folder called Views, and I've created a view called Product Detail View and Product Detail View Custom Zoom. Now, where did I get the template here for this? Is in the back end of Sitefinity, if you go to Design, and widget templates, these are all the templates that are associated with all the widgets that we have for Sitefinity. I use the product details and I've copied and pasted this template into Sitefinity, um, excuse me, into Visual Studio and modified it. This is the modifications that I've created and I've left in all the references for Fancybox, just commented them out. And I've replaced them with the references for Magic Zoom Plus. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see again where I have removed or commented out the references for Fancybox, and above it, I've added in the new uh, code for Magic Zoom Plus. Now, on line 66 here, we've added in just a little bit different code. You can see here that in Fancybox, we're actually just skipping over one of the thumbnail images. And if I go back here and show you this, you will see that the actual main product image is not a thumbnail. But in Magic Zoom Plus, I would like to go back and look at this product again. Maybe there's a few things that I missed when I saw this product. So in our code, we've just added some, some different code to not only allow you to include the main image, but also if it's only one image, not to show any type of thumbnail. This is the main differences that we have here along with some of the other things of moving in the magic zoom, adding in the real tags and the IDs for it. You can see from my blog post and from my gist that you can take this template right out of the box and just apply it to Sitefinity e-commerce. To apply this, I can easily just copy and paste all this code here into the actual control template and save it. But best practices are to really leave this alone as they are and actually go into the page that has the Sitefinity product list control on it. Here I'll edit the properties of this control and I'm going to go into advanced and control definitions and scroll down to the bottom and click on views. I'm going to select the product front end detail as this is the detail view and down below is here is where I can reference the new template path for my new template or view. That's all that needs to be done. You can just save this, publish the page, and you're finished. And you're now using Magic Zoom to be able to show high formatted detailed images on your website. I hope this video was beneficial, and please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you very much for watching.